Hello everyone, this is RV or Frank and I'm out here in the RV or Frank garage and I was looking for a air compressor for that RV I now have a, uh, a dual tank Hitachi that I use with my uh, nail gun. It's it's a pretty heavy unit. It may it may weigh 80 pounds. It may be a uh, four gallon size Hitachi air compressor. It's a it uh, it's an oil type. Now, in getting something uh, really more suited for the RV, I decided, after quite a bit of research, to go after one of these Porter Cable uh, air compressors. They're, they're oil-less. Now, this is a 3.5 gallon, 135 PSI pancake compressor. And I think it weighs about 26 pounds, so it's going to be pretty easy getting in and out of the back of that. Yeah, it's, you know, it's easily uh, handled with one hand. It has a drain. It has a couple gauges, the tank, uh, pressure, then there's the uh, regulated uh, pressure gauge. So it's got your standard uh, gauges there you, you'll find on most uh, compressors. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing up and I just plugged it in. I haven't even tested it yet and see how long it takes to run up to uh, a full tank. Okay, well, I went ahead and decided to uh, just film the entire uh, tank filling operation, and it, by my watch, took an, a minute and 30 seconds to get to 140 PSI. So that's decent. Uh, it's a three and a half gallon tank, and when I'm topping off those uh, RV t uh, tires, roughly, I think I'm running those around. 72 pounds. This will easily uh, fill those, uh, topping them off to that amount uh, when needed. They don't seem to really bleed off any air, uh, but they will. And when I need to, I'll go ahead and uh, put more air in using this. So it, I didn't run a, a deci decibel meter. To determine uh, the uh, the how loud it is, but having those let's see those uh, smarter tools generators, those run at about 
oh, anywhere between 55 and 60 decibels. I would say this runs, uh, I turned the video volume down uh, for most of the time, but I would say that it runs a, about maybe 80 uh, decibel so and I'm in the garage it wasn't bad on the ears uh, it was you know it echoed in here so I think this is going to work out fine I looked at uh, the Vier and all those other units but I wanted something with a tank uh, so I'm not running the compressor the entire time when I'm filling again being that it's uh, oilless uh, it's going to have a certain amount of uh, operation time before you want to let it cool down. And having that tank is a benefit. And again, this size, it's kind of hard it, to see. its uh, I know when I was looking at it online, I couldn't tell uh, the size of this from the 6-gallon tank because you know they normalize the, the image sizes. This is approximately, oh, I would say maybe 13 inches, 14 inches uh, from... The outside of the tank and it it may be 18 inches high and so it's going to fit really nice in the back of the flare and like I said it uses standard uh, airlines that uh, I've already got over there uh, with the RV and then I can put my Hitachi back in here and use it for around the house so anyway I got it on Amazon I paid a hundred and 105 and I had uh, a few discounts uh, from my uh, Chase and Discover card uh, cash back so I wound up about 50 bucks out of pocket on this and I expect my use on this is going to be quite a while I expect it to to last now I read some some uh, it's a little warm here I read some comments that it didn't seem to hold pressure now these are crimp uh, hose clamps here that might be a vulnerable area I'd probably put a worm type clamp there and here if I get any leakage issues I'm not sure what the connection is inside this housing but I probably pull that apart with these screws and, and replace that clamp and other areas to look for leakage, as most people probably know, is any O-ring around this this uh, drain valve here. But if it's secure, I, I don't think you're going to have a problem. Again, you always want to make sure you have a good connection here with the correct type of hose. Not sure which what this requires. I haven't looked at the instructions on it. It's probably a standard, but again, a standard could be a couple different types of... Uh, uh, interface uh, uh, male uh, air hose coupling so anyway hope this helps I know it was a long process to come up with the right choice on this and I have a VR for the, uh, the Z71 in the view but I needed something a little bigger for those tires uh, for the for the flare all right thanks for watching leave any comments you might have and uh, safe travels take care now